Happy Canada Day to our brothers in the north. It's July 1st, and we are celebrating the home of legalized mind-altering drugs today. Get off your ass. The show is about to start. <laughs> Welcome to the hustle. I sound like a pimp standing out on the street corner. Anyways, uh, big news today. Robert Byrd passes away. He, uh, he was in U.S. politics for many years, but the big story with Robert Byrd actually is, and this is something that nobody ever really wanted to talk about, or he never wanted to talk to talk about while he was in the Senate or in the House, was uh, his quote-unquote indiscretions as a child, uh, or as an adolescent, or however he used to put it. Uh, I know that he's been quoted many ways saying it different different things, but anyways, he was an exalted cyclops in the Ku Klux Klan, and there's no doubt that that actually helped push off his political career over the years, or at least when he first got started. And he was in the Democratic Party, which doesn't seem to overlook anything as far as that. When they decide what does and doesn't go into our social media or media in general, you know, the Democratic Party's really been the forefront of filtering media. So why they let him in, his, in their party in the first place is really kind of beyond me. But um, it, got me, it got me thinking, got me a little bit curious. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do a little bit of research on the Ku Klux Klan. And, uh, you know, how would you become an exalted Cyclops? And really, I mean, it looks like a World of Warcraft structure. You've got knights and ghouls and maybe a couple of manges in there. Hey, how did they get in there? I really just don't get it. But it, the position is actually an elected position that you're in for a year and you're the head of that chapter. So no doubt that that actually helped him get his way into politics. Now, I don't know about you, but he had, had more than one point throughout his career was third down if the vice president were to, uh, for some reason, mysteriously pass away along with the president in order to take over the country. That's like saying we understand that you used to run an organization that killed innocent people because of the color of their skin, and we want you to be our leader. I don't know if they're smoking, but they better be sharing it with their friends. The next thing I want to talk about is oilspillwater.com. It's actually a website that was designed in order to help raise money for the relief funds or the relief efforts in the Gulf Coast. Now, I understand that this is a righteous movement. I understand what's going on. There's two brothers that actually designed this. I think they were from Florida, I think. I don't remember. Anyways, I read a couple stories on it this morning, but um, one thing that really you know caught my eye or caught my attention is the oil spill water it's not actually oil spill water. They sell you like a two ounce vial of salt water mixed with oil to simulate oil spill water. Now, the water is not out of the ocean, or at least it's not from the oil spill. These two brothers set up a chemical plant in, in their kitchen and are selling water off. I mean, like I said, the effort is good, but for $10 a vial, I, I, I can go make oil spill water on my own and, and really think of a conscious effort for it and put my $10 into the Red Cross or something somewhere else. Maybe we'll fund the FEMA program. Where are they? Isn't this a nas national catastrophe? Aren't they supposed to be there? I want to hear those same protesters we had during Hurricane Katrina. Obama hates black people. That's why he's not sending FEMA. The last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today is a man gets arrested for putting a bong to a 13-month-old's mouth. This, uh, this goes against the rule of Puff Puff Pass because one of his friends actually reported him to the police. Who, actually, who later in the day went and actually arrested him. Nobody would have ever figured it out, but he was milking his mom like a pothead on 420 eating munchies. I don't know if this guy hasn't kept up on his hip-hop music videos or, you know, ever seen the movie Friday, but Pup Pup Pass is a major rule, and obviously if you're not playing, somebody's going to go out and get you. But I'm thinking maybe this guy was Canadian since it's legal up there, so he thought it was okay to put a bong up to a 13-month-old's mouth. Take some advice from Friday. You ain't got no job, you ain't got shit to do, you're only 13, smoke a bong. Maybe he does have a job. I bet you if he moved overseas, Foxconn would give this 13-month-old 70 hours a week. And a place to nap with these new nets that they just installed so people stop jumping off the roof. Anyways, that's all we got here in the hustle today, so when it comes to the news, keep the pimp hand strong. Are you kidding me right now? Seriously? What the hell was that? I was going to wave my hands around with the little mittens like they always do in the videos, but the hat was the best I could do because it's 90 degrees outside. Find me some of those mittens and since you're up, get me a beer.